Ah, yes, here we are. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Three Forces. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and let's see if I can finish this place off and see what other rewards I might be able to get for this. Because I'm actually kind of curious, because I already got the... Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, I like this already. Oh, jeez. Ah! You know, it seems appropriate that we had a kind of an item gate before an item. And a really nice item, too. Okay. Kinda makes me wonder if there's... if the level 3 heart ring is in here somewhere. Oh, and we got the... Fire Octorox, and we backhand... uh backhanding boomerang shots. Thankfully, I have unlimited ranged weaponry here. E. And how the fire boomerang works sometimes against enemies like this and sometimes not, I don't know. Haha! -ha. Oh, jeez. Thankfully, this guy can be stunned like everything else. Whew. And also, thankfully, the the door protects me from everything except the bombs. Which, frankly, I can take. Ta I can tank the bombs. And, yep, gonna take you out right now. So we're having the Magic Octorox at that halfway point. Why does that worry me? Okay, and here I can just stay here all day. <laughs> Especially if the enemies are just gonna come, come at me with with no sense of self-preservation. Ah, uh, okay. So I got hit while in the doorway from that thing. From the splitter? Okay. Alright, so what's the next... What the heck is that? That... I think... That's... Uh... Furore's Wind. Okay. Uh, now... So we had the Magic Octorox before the Wiz Robes. Logic, you gotta love it. Uh... Can I one shot? Yeah, these these things have more hit points than normal. Darn you. Now the fact that I still have sword beams even when I don't have full health helps. Oh jeez. Well, okay then, that worked. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay here now that officially none of the enemies can hurt me from here. Oh, okay, I took out all the whiz robes. I thought, I thought that summoner was still there, but I guess not. And... Like likes? Really? 
seems kind of an odd choice for an enemy at this stage, but okay. I mean, I know I can... I'm safe from harm when, with the like likes around, but... Why should I concern myself with that right now? And apparently I'm not completely safe in the doorway, that's just, which is why I'm... Wait a little bit inside the doorway. Ah. Plus, I still have all of my potions. I, I still haven't used the potion, any of my potions yet. Oh my. Now, this is an interesting combination. One that is actually kind of threatening. Mostly because these bats don't die in one hit. Oh, jeez. Okay, well that's one summoner now. And with all these bats in the way, it's kind of hard to hit that last one. Ah, why am I even doing this? Well, at least I don't have to worry about magic. <laughs> Plus, with my heart ring, I am steadily gaining health while I'm doing this. Come on, hit you, darn you. There. Okay. So that thing, that magic octroc took only four hits to kill? Okay. That's fine. Ah, there we go. And the dongos. All right, that works, I guess. Come on, you. If I'm seeing man. The, the Dongos. I makes me wonder if there's the Manhandlers, maybe some Patras, especially as I'm getting too closer to the end of things. Ooh, and I'm presuming that's Nyaru's love. Yeah, it looks like it. And a Severe downgrade in enemy strength all of a sudden? Eh? Okay, except that apparently this thing follows a theme. Because last time it was whiz robes and then it incorporated the whiz robes into everything else. Which makes me think that by the end of this stretch of things we'll be seeing Garias, Dalphos, Darknuts, whiz robes, maybe a couple like likes. Yep, well, I, I was right. <laughs> and yeah, I've got the summoners too, of course. Ooh, clock! Must have clock. <laughs> Granted, it's not like my life is in any danger, but it certainly makes things a lot simpler. Yeah, I think I probably could have 
come here right after getting the whistle. But I I like how equipped I am right now. So. Makes things a lot a lot less life threatening. Especially considering what might be at the end of this. Like a Patra with a single red dark nut. Interesting choice there. So, what am I going to get after this? Oh my. Is it going to be a weapon upgrade? And armor upgrade? Actually, I think I'm going to get, given the pattern, I think I'm going to get Dense Fire, which will allow me to... Oh my. Well, I'm relatively safe in here. <laughs> yeah, come right at me. Ah. All right. So it's there's probably going to be a level 3 Patra at the end of this. With probably a half a dozen other things. Oh! And there's Din's Fire. And there's the level 3. Just like I thought. Yeah, it seems the doorway is not safe anymore, and what the heck am I doing? And even now I still have sword beams. I wonder what the limit is, if there is one. Come on, you. There we go. Armor upgrade. Okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else in here? There is something here. Do I have to use the whistle? Aha. I find it odd that the that the sprite for that look the tunic looks more green, but oh well. I'm sure Link Fan had his reasons for that. Uh, if you want to continue, go ahead and head up. If not, go back up the stairs. I do suggest you have 18 hearts, though. Uh, I have 17. Oh geez, there's a whole nother floor to this. Like I said I have 18 hearts, but frankly I think I think I'm good enough for this. Especially, well, I can't really say much for the enemy options right now because who knows that this is just the tip of the iceberg here. And I'm wondering if the, uh, now that I know that, uh, that spot in the beginning is Din's Fire, makes me wonder if that leads back to here. I can only assume so. Oh my. What is this? Uh. So are these green ones just more powerful? I don't think I'm willing to find out. Wow, 
what? Uh, okay. Yeah, definitely, definitely more powerful. Huh. At least, th thank goodness I have the fire boomerang. That is a lifesaver. And different color like likes. Okay. Not sure what they'll end up doing. Let's try to keep it that way. And Patras. All right. I can deal with Patras. So, if the Patra three was the boss of the first floor. What's going to be the boss of the second floor? Which begs the question, is there going to be a third floor? Oh, more land bolas. Okay. And I can only imagine even attempting this on heartless mode. This is just that, this would just be plain brutal. And more land molas. Okay. Oh my, yep, take him out quickly, or get a clock, that works too. <laughs> okay. Oh my. Just what I wanted to see, a stronger version of the bat ropes. Oh jeez. Yeah, this worries me. This worries me a great deal. Especially with the dang bubble around. Thing is, these guys drop enough magic that makes Din's Fire a valid choice here. Of course, I got hit by the dang bubble. So the only one left is the purple one. Okay. Whew, well that was interesting. Oh. Huh. I'm wondering if these oddly colored whiz robes are in I think obviously they have more hit points. I'm wondering if they have more attack power and I didn't really notice how much damage I took there. I'm 
also wondering if I should be splitting this video up. So are there any items in here? Oh! Blue fire whiz ropes. Okay. That looks fun. Especially since... Things just keep on going and going and going. At least while I'm staying safe in the doorway here, or was, I'm continuously regening health. Why did I just walk straight away from the fire? Oh my. Yeah, stay away from the bomb too. So we got fires. And these guys again. Which means the doorway is not a safe place for me. But now everything is a safe place for me. Uh huh. Now I'm starting to wonder if all these. Uh, recolors are just unique to this place, or if I'm going to be seeing them again later. In more hostile confines. Ah, yes, well, it's always good to know that my shield blocks the fire. Oh dear. Well, at least I took two of them out. And there goes all three. So, time to break out the lovely fire again. Oh, well, okay, I took one of them out. Didn't realize I had done that much damage already. You know what? I don't feel like dealing with you guys. And I'm back up to full anyway. Uh, oh dear. Okay, I still have my shield. <laughs> I was worried for a minute there. Uh... Oh my! Superman Handler! I don't know if this is the technique I should be using, but it's the one I'm deciding to use. 
Either that or I'm just gonna go full on berserker. <laughs> Not like I'm short on bombs right now, anyway. Oh my. Okay. These aren't the full on dark nuts. Not yet. But. Yeah, and they split into splitters. I was afraid of that. Why would you do that? That's just... That, that's just cruel. Next... Oh. We got the whole... The, practically the whole family now. You know what? Yeah, if they're coming at me straight ahead, might as well use the appropriate weaponry. Thank goodness that the doors don't lock behind me. Because otherwise, I don't know how well I'd be doing right now. I'd probably be in panic mode or something. Oh my. Um. Okay, and more Dodongos. Lovely. Ooh, twofer. Well, if I was, if I had any concerns about my another twofer. Wow. Uh, if I had any concerns about how many bombs I had, those concerns are now gone. Uh, okay. This looks fun. Really? You're sending an Aquamantis. Oh, more than one. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand here and let you kill yourself out of, just because of how laughable. Okay, these guys are taking a lot more hits than I thought. Okay. Of course, their hits probably aren't that strong anyway. Yeah, that's enough. Ooh. So we're getting to actual legitimate bosses now. And bomb shoes. And the BS Patra. All right. Which, frankly, the BS Patra is probably the least threatening enemy in the room right now. Oh my. I'm wondering if there was a compass for this floor. And if so, which room it was supposed to be in. 
not like I really, there's really any doubt as to where I'm supposed to go, but... So, Octorox. Yeah. Because the Octorox are the most threatening things in the world. These guys, yeah, these that's a bit more legitimate, I think. Oh no! More of you guys! Oh jeez! Time to break out Din's fire again! Because this is... Fighting these guys just isn't fun, in my opinion. Especially when you can't take out the bats in one hit. Just... Thank goodness I have both region and uber defense. Because otherwise, I'd be, I, I'd be concerned for my life right now. Of course, if I get a clock, it's a boot point. Frankly, I'm hoping that there's another sword upgrade so I won't. that can kill these bats in one hit. I don't know why I am fighting in this way. Of course, the fact that the Zals have kind of stayed in their own half of the room kind of helps. Oof. Getting towards the final stretch of things now. Yeah, just take out take out the dark nuts. The wizard robes can wait for later unless they fall in line with my shots. Like that. Well, dang! At this rate, the well. Dang, they end up dying at about the same time. Wow. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, this is definitely an interesting place. With a lot of interesting enemy combinations. Uh, thank you. I sometimes forget about what items that I have at my disposal to make life easier. There we go. Aha! Okay, now this room is is tricky. Although now that I've taken out one of the threats, I can take out the other one in peace. Come on, you. And after all that, I am still 
in a good situation on health. Oh, what? Okay. What the heck? Okay, at least I take took out one of them. And I'm not going to be in any... I wasn't going to say not be in any rush to kill these things, but... Okay. Yeah, you know, in the past I would have said that a dungeon from hell would have been full of, like, Patras, but now I'm starting to think summoners with these particular brand of bats, they're vying for that top spot right now. Which probably means somebody out there is going to make a quest specifically geared to my non-interests, I guess. Uh. Yeah, I'm just going to bide my time, let my health regenerate maybe a little bit. Even if I'm only getting a quarter of a heart at a time. Oh, okay. I took it out. With all the other stuff flying around, sometimes it's hard to tell what's dying and what's not. Uh. And a room full of like likes. Breather room, maybe? I don't know. Of course, it's not like they're dropping anything. Though they hardly ever do. Next. Uh. And all the whiz ropes are gathered right, right, right at the door. Uh. Frankly, I want to take out the the fire whiz ropes before I start dealing with the summoners, unless they just fall, unless they end up being very cooperative. All right, so it looks like there's only one more of those. Did I just take one of them out? Yes! Yes, I did! Good! So, okay, that's all of them gone. Alright. Ooh, wow, that one had only one hit left. And so did that one, wow! Okay! Didn't think I had gotten that many hits in. Okay, the one of everything room, lovely. Though it admittedly it had been a while since we had seen the magic octorock. Ooh, why thank you. And just like that, my health is going to be at full <laughs> after this fight. Dang, just... Oh, there's a fire one in there. And... Okay. Last room. Oh, my. Yeah, I'm feeling like tanking right now. Just because... Mostly because I can. And I'm not 
in any danger of dying at the moment. So that one I can just leave alone because, well, they're all grouped together so I don't really have much choice but to just fire in and see what I hit. So do I have sword beams full time? Okay. So what is it that I'll be getting for this? That is the pertinent question. The red heart ring. Not bad. Not bad. I'd suggest you have 18 hearts for the ordeal sword. Because... Because it requires 18 hearts to get said sword. Okay. Uh... Okay. Well, it turns out I can't get the final reward for this thing. Which means this whole thing ended up being a waste of time, but at least all of those Patras, those Gleelocks, all those guys should be gone. So when I do get 18 hearts, I'll be able to grab that thing, and I'll probably do so off camera. So join me next time when I see what else I can do at this point. So until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.